Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going stateside to take a look at WSOP online bracelet event hand. It comes from the 7777 buy-in, so that's $7,777 buy-in, event number 25, high roller with three-handed. Let's take a look. So there's three left then at this final table. Each player is guaranteed $120,000, uh, but there's $284,000 for first and a bracelet, of course. This is a WSOP online bracelet event. And in this spot then, you can see the button goes for the min raise and D Peters in the small blind. He has Jack nine of clubs here and he's gonna go for the jam. Now, very, very easy decision for Ryan LaPlante here in the big blind, that's potential. He's gonna get it in with pocket kings and uh, I'm gonna hold off on the result because the key thing here is to ask the question, would you jam Jack nine suited in the small blind in this spot? Now, of course, I've run this solution. Let's take a look in simple preflop hold'em to find out if Jack nine suited is a bit of a punt or actually, just a genius play. Let's find out. So the first thing we wanna take a look at then is the button's opening range. And as you can see, it's really, really wide. So the first takeaway here is that the button as the chip leader gets to open really, really wide. Probably something that you already knew, but maybe you didn't know that you could go this wide. 62% of hands. So you can see all of the hands here on the screen are gonna be opens. If I click on here, we can now see what the small blinds solution or uh, response to that open is gonna be. Now, bearing in mind, the button is opening 62% of hands. You might expect the small blind to be able to three bell to jam a lot wider than this. But of course, like if he goes for the jam, all he's really picking up are the uh, blinds and antis plus the two big blind open rays. And once we get down to three handed, uh, there's only three players worth of antis, of course, in the middle. So there's less to fight for, less to go after. So you might have already spotted it. The Jack nine suited here is uh, is a fold. It's not a jam in this situation. Now the point of this video is not to say, oh well, you know, D Peters, one of the, the the best players in the world, is making a mistake here. It's really just to highlight you know, that it's almost impossible to know how to respond in every situation. And of course, there might be some exploits going on here. I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% sure. We don't know unless we speak to D Peters and say, you know, why did you shove Jack Nine suited in this spot? But as you can see from the solution, Jack Nine suited is not a jam here. There are some jams though, and I think it's pretty interesting. Uh, the second takeaway here, uh, after the you know the first takeaway was the button opening so wide is that there are quite a lot of jams There are no flats or very very little flatting going on. You can see 0.56 percent So really just you know, no calls at all uh, in this spot So really from the small blind in the situation you're looking to three bet or to jam now bearing in mind that king nine suited queen nine suited ten nine suited are actually jams it's not too much of a stretch to to have believed that jack nine suited was going to be in that range so i don't think we can be too hard on d peters i mean you know he's uh as i keep saying he's one of the best players in the world so we uh you know we're definitely not going to be too hard on hard on him in this spot and you know hashtag results he ended up winning this bracelet might have just spoiled the ending of this video but that's okay because we're not about results here we're about uh, looking at the solutions and seeing what we can learn from them so yeah the biggest uh, takeaway from the small blind strategy or response to the button open is that it's really just three bet or jam let's take a, a little dive into what happens when we do jam uh, so you can see the big blind is going to go with sevens plus which is uh you know somewhat somewhat wide actually sevens plus ace jack suited you know, ace jack off sometimes, but really just ace queen off, I would say. Anytime that there's a little bit of white in there, so there's some folding, it means that the EV of, of jamming here or rejamming here uh, and folding are going to be pretty similar. And then if the big blind did fold, then the button's going to call sixes plus, ace ten off, ace ten suited, king queen suited. Now, you know, there's every chance that maybe D Peters believed that, you know, when he shoves jack nine suited here, uh, the button was no way going to be calling with sixes or ace 10 off or king queen suited or ace 10 suited. So that could be a reason why he decided to jam a bit wider than the solutions. I think this just illustrates really perfectly how tough it is to know exactly what to do in every single spot. You know, he's, he's pretty close. Jack nine suited ended up being the hand that didn't shove, but 10 nine suited, queen nine suited, king nine suited, they were all shoves. So yeah, I think he's definitely, you know, 
doing the right the right kind of things. In this situation, though, it wasn't a shove, but maybe there's a reason why he chose to do that. So I think this perfectly illustrates how tough it can be to know exactly what to do in every single situation. D. Peters is without doubt one of the best players in the world. He's not going to take this line without good reason, so there must have been you know, a reason why he chose to do this. Uh, as we saw with the solver though, Jack-9 suited was a fold, but 10-9 suited, Jack-9 suited, Queen-9 suited were jams. So it would be pretty interesting to dive a little bit deeper and find out why. Uh, if you've got any ideas as to why Jack-9 suited is folding, but 10-9 suited, Queen-9 suited, and King-9 suited are all jamming, then drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just to round out the video then, let's take a look at the result. I did spoil it earlier on, but yeah, let's take a look. So D. Peters does go for the jam. Ryan LaPlante's gonna call or get it in with pocket kings as well. Flop's top set, but it's gonna go runner, runner straight for D. Peters, and he's gonna scoop this massive pot at a really, really important time in this tournament. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as well. And before I sign off, quick question, what would you do in this spot? Would you jam Jack-9 suited or would you have folded? Let me know in the comments and I'll be back soon with a brand new video. But until then, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.